Hello friends, uh, today is my 24th presentation on the subject of how to carry out risk assessment at the field levels of the master data tables. Uh, I am planning to include uh, following aspects in this presentation. Number one, what are the master data tables? What are the fields and the ERP environments in the master data tables or otherwise purpose of risk assessment at the field level of master data tables? The five activities for carrying out this assessment at the field level choice in the master data tables. One template each for risk assessment in the design of architect, interior design and MEV functions that is total <coughs> three templates. Activities that can adversely impact the business and future references. What are master data tables? Now these tables they store the most critical information about an object such as customer, vendor, design, material, etc. The core data used as a base for any transaction. In the context of this article, for performing the design activities, specific master data tables need to be maintained. Depending on the comprehensiveness of the master data tables, the number of master tables in any function, they can be restricted to a reasonable number. These tables can be used by many functions besides uh, the person uh, the, the function who is originating it and uh, depending on the access assigned few examples of the master data tables in the context of design functions are drawing and specification master uh, for the packages and the civil work coded as mt106 similarly design specification master package in the interior design coded as mt111 drawing specification master mvp packages coded as mt116 in my handbook in chapter 10 and in lecture 16d, six examples of master data tables are listed. This note, uh, no, note that uh, uh, these quotes as MT106 or 111 or MT116, uh, these are given for simple understanding <coughs> uh, for the purpose of digitization and these can be changed as per the absolute discretion of the organization or these are driven by the ERP solution software uh, adopted by the company. <coughs> What are fields? Uh, fields uh, for simple understanding, they they specific they, they store sp specific information about a particular record in the table. Fields can be of various data various types such as data type, character type, numbers type, dates type, currency values, etc. These fields they contain the data at the granularity level and can be used in the forms, documents, and tables and must have a number, description, and field length. That means these fields are not restricted only to the master table, master data tables or configuration tables, configuration <coughs> tables, but can be used by many other in many other places. The data type, the data element, the values must be assigned to the field as per the purpose of the field and governed by the design of the type of the tables, uh, design the ERP environment. Few examples for the fields, uh, the context of the business design functions are as below. <coughs> uh, list of drawings and technical specification for the scope of the work including for BOQ for example for structure work packages coded as F504 for digitization purpose. Drawing and technical specification for civil building works uh, 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 civil building works packages coded as F505. Drawing and technical specification facade work packages and so on coded as F506 and so on so forth. Now codes as such as F04, F05 and so on, they are given for simple understanding and can be changed as per the absolute discretion of the organization or these are fields, uh, codes are driven by the ERP solution uh, uh, or software ad adopted by the company. In my handbook in chapter 10 and lecture 16D, 56 uh, examples of the fields are given uh, for a uh, few master data tables, although there are 109 fields which are relevant for the three design functions. What is the purpose of risk assessment at the field level of the master data tables? The purpose of risk assessment is to prepare building designers to be aware of the different types of risks that fields can contribute due to incorrect or inappropriate configuration or selection of the fields in the master data tables. Correct and accurate selection of the fields is vital to ensure that design developed is robust and would facilitate the accomplishment of the following objectives. Number one, 
meeting the customer requirement and thus higher sales. Adherence to the statutory and sanctions or approved designs or drawings, meeting the National Building Code requirement standards, uh, no, no compromise on the safety, no compromise on the quality. So the selection and uh, uh, designing of the field is very, very critical. Five activities for carrying out risk assessment at the field level of the master data tables. These are, uh, these are uh, number one, identify the parameters influencing the field level risks with respect to each master data table. Once master data table have been identified, the HOD, uh, HOD uh, or fun and functional team in consideration with the risk management team and the internal audit team, they identify a list of essential aspects that can facilitate the classification of the field's risk as high or medium or low. Some of the aspects are as below for classifying the risk as high, medium or low at the field level. Purpose of purpose or in, purpose or ingredient of the field in visibility in which the integrated field is used. The consequence of populating the field inaccurately vis a vis the project design or the project quality or the project cost or the strategy conformance. The first activity uh, also necessitate the identification of the uh, ingredients of the field that can influence the classification of the risk as uh, high, medium or low field. For example, field which are populated inaccurately or fields are accessed or amended unauthorizedly. Second activity is, is design of uh, designing a risk assessment template at the field level vis a vis each master data table. Number three is software programming of the risk template for the field level. Fourth is populating the field level risk vis a vis each master data table. And fifth is effective changes in the above as in these occur. More details about each of these aspects you can find in my book in chapter 10. Now, uh, I am proposing a template uh, for the each of these functions that is design of architecture, design of materials and MEP and this will clarify what, uh, how to uh, develop this uh, and populate this template. Uh, there are three columns. First column is the field, second column is the consequence if the ingredients of the field are inaccurate or these are unauthorizedly accessed uh, or these are unauthorizedly amended. And uh, fourth, uh, third column is the risk classification proposed at the field level. Now, uh, for example, drawings and technical specification in the first row is the drawing and technical specification for the scope of the work including BOQ stru for structure, uh, structure work packages. For example, uh, different kind of TMT bars or other um, items like uh, like uh, cement uh, etc the grade of the cement etc now now in case the drawing technical specification vis a vis this aspect are not not uh, appropriately populated in the field in the in the field ingredients uh, it can mean that not meeting the customer this is column number 2 i am reading from column number 2 row number 1 uh, the not meeting the customer requirement and thus leading to adverse impact on the sales volume due to non robust design which have the following aspects not meeting national building codes or standards or statutory specifications compromising on the safety or compromising the quality and statutory sanctioned ranks not uh, not met <coughs> so here the risks are very very high because in case the field elements are not designed properly not populated properly this can lead to structure failure and uh, building collapse. So therefore, the risk is assessed to be high. This is my assessment, but each uh, each designer they can have their own thinking about it. Second aspect is, for example, the second field is drawing and technical specification for civil building works packages. For example, for the brick work or the painting work, <coughs> uh, etc. Now here also the consequences are identical to the uh, to the that of structure that means um, not meeting customer requirement or not meeting national building code requirement if there are any and not compromising the safety and not and not compromising on the uh, uh, in fact compromising on the quality safety compromising on the quality and statutory sanctions or uh, approved drawings these are not met so here the also the risk is high third row is for the similarly for the field is for drawing and technical specification for the facade work packages. 
uh, the the consequences or the implications of the fields not being populated correctly or inaccurately are same as above and therefore the risk has to be high ditto for the uh, uh, next row which is for the landscape for the or hardscape work packages uh, ditto high risk and uh, similarly for the uh, software packages uh, high risks now let me move to the uh, second template which is for the drawing and specification work for the uh, uh, interior design works here on the uh, the columns are same field consequences of the fields uh, uh, and risk uh, uh, classification this is column number 1 2 and 3 and row number 1 is for example the first one is drawing and technical specification for the scope of the work including for boq for the finishing works uh, or packages uh, uh, could be for example for the marble for the tiles for the uh, linen work etc etc now here the consequences for uh, uh, inaccurate uh, design of the field or the inaccurate or unauthorized access of the field or amendment in authorized amendment are following uh, again same <coughs> not meeting customer requirement not meeting national building code uh, compromise on the safety compromise on the quality and surgery sanction or approved drawings if any are uh, not complied with here also risk reservation is assessed by me as high second one second second uh, the, the next row is drawing and technical specification for furniture and fixtures related packages now here also the consequences are similar as above and risk assessed again is high the next row is for the uh, packages uh, drawing and technical specification for the equipment packages for example for the gym for the bathroom and for other rooms uh, uh, wherever equipments are used maybe kitchen etc uh, here also the uh, consequences of the ingredients of the field being inaccurate or <coughs> authorized access are same as above and risk access are high uh, drawings the next row is for the drawing and technical specification for the artwork uh, props and other packages related to this artwork and implications are same although there may not be much requirement related to the you know <coughs> statute requirement but yet the compromise on the safety and the quality are very very important third uh, template is for the uh, design of the mbp here the master data table is drawing and technical specification for the mbp packages uh, <coughs> in the in the first uh, the, the first row uh, after the fields and consequences and the risk the drawings and technical specification for the scope of the work including boq for boq for the external electrical works packages are listed and uh, here again the implications are same not meeting the customer requirement leading to adverse impact on the sales volume due to non robust design vis a vis not meeting the national building code compromising the safety compromising the quality compromise on the strategy and sanction drawings and risk risk classification here also is high and uh, next uh, packages for example is the internal electrical works there also the assessment is same for the consequences and also for the risk level high uh, third is for example drawing and technical specification for the air conditioning and uh, or vrv or heating works the consequences of are the similar and the risk assessment is also high drawing and technical specification for the basement ventilation uh, the consequences are similar and risk assessment are high now although i have assumed this uh, the consequences is similar the designers can based on the num based on the specific packages can identify these and uh, also classify the risk and uh, not necessarily this may be high in some packages it may be medium or low also but i have assumed it for as uh, uh, high in these cases so so for example in the mvb if there are 15 20 30 packages each packages they need to be listed in this template and similar analysis to be done now what are the activities that can adversely impact the business risk assessment while uh, in the context of this uh, 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 populating of the uh, fields and designing of the templates inappropriate level and position of the team members of the three design functions uh, with consequent 
inadequate skills for comprehending field level risk of master data tables so in case the team composition is not appropriate obviously the comprehension for the field level risk may not be appropriate inappropriate software development and workflow of the risk template making risk capturing of the field level risk and master data table cumbersome and inefficient inadequate understanding and hence inappropriate capturing of the consequence of the correct assessment and use of the master data tables inaccurate classification of the risk level as high medium or low by the team members of the three design functions so where the risk level should be uh, high it is treated as medium or vice versa or treated as low which is can be very very dangerous non periodic and non timely review of the previously populated risk templates to incorporate design changes to incorporate changes in the master data tables see these master data tables the fields they can keep on getting amended getting changed so uh, it is important that the this activity uh, of periodic review and timely review of this risk assessment templates and the field is done by the designers or by the team now you can refer to chapter 10 and an exception d in my handbook for more details on the aspects covered in my presentation and my book is titled ethics in real estate and hospitality industry volume 1 for architecture interior and mbb designers there is a blog in the website uh, covering how to assess risk at field level of master data tables you can refer to that then there are some article which you may find in my facebook or linkedin uh, the book is available in the kindle format or paperback on amazon.com and amazon.in and is also now available in some of the retail outlets in the ncr region thank you very much